Hi there, welcome to Playing with Junk. And this time I really have a piece of junk here. Uh, I literally pulled it from the junk bin, from our recycling electronic waste recycling box. And on the first glance I thought, well, wooden case, looks nice. Not much around here. Display, nothing, nothing, nothing. And here we have button, some kind of super micro DC check, a hole with nothing and a hole with probably an LED inside. Missing screw, missing screw, missing screw, missing screw and barcode. No, QR, QR code. Well, um, I tried that. It leads you to the Android or Apple uh, App Store to download the app for this, whatever it is. And um, I thought it is so awful, at least inside, that I must show you that. So, first of all, we have cracks here and cracks there, but to be fair, um, <coughs> these cracks are probably from tossing it into the recycling bin. And by the way, they can be fixed quite easily. A little bit of wood glue, a little bit of uh, sanding paper, and that will be invisible. Okay, let's see inside. Prepare for the worst. <laughs> Look at that. A hot glue paradise. Yeah, there is something here in that hole. Could be a LED. At least they have taken a good sticky not stinky, sticky hot glue. So we can say it's pretty well done. So far we could say that. No, that's a temperature sensor. Okay, yeah. Because this is not only a clock, it's also a, a weather station. That's the DC check, that's the button, and that's some sort of speaker. And that's some sort of hot glue on my thumb. Okay, what do we have else? That looks like a Bluetooth module, maybe Wi-Fi. The board looks like held in place by that blob of hot glue here. Okay, maybe before I destroy it completely, I will turn it on. Okay, so this is probably negative. And center pin is positive, perhaps. Okay. Let's find out if this is correct. Uh, five volts. Okay, yeah, it does something. Ooh, so that may be the reason why it landed uh, weather forecast. Okay, weather forecast. City, lot of missing pixels, 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 but it could be Beijing. Beijing. 
And one thing I notice, it is completely impossible to read the display in this uh, angle. It's almost invisible 90 degree and if you turn it a little bit like so. So I think that device is made to place on the floor and you can watch it from above a, a bit like so. Okay, but that's pretty useless. Okay, my power my power uh, clip went off. Okay, I think that's enough. But it seems it has a, a radio controlled clock. It has a, some weather information. For example, down here, that's certainly a humidity sensor. The temperature sensor is here. So that sensor measures the humidity of the air inside this box because there are no holes for air going in or out. Then we have some kind of a beeper on here and the board itself is stuck with hot glue to the other board which is Well, uh, not a connected board, it's... oh my! Oh, that's interesting. It's just a, a board they had lying around and they use it as a, as a piece to, to hold down the display. So it has absolutely no function. A piece of cardboard would have done the job too. And on the other side we have the same kind of port. Yes, some kind of display board. Well, nicely done. Okay, maybe I can use that for something. Okay, let's get rid of these wires. So that's then the display clock, now the, the clock and everything board. There is a button. Don't know what that could be for. It has space for capacitors that are not connected. That's some sort of the beeper, PSO beeper. Then we have, that's the background illumination. Uh, yes, hand soldered, handmade, handmade quality. So that's the background. And of course, this long, no longer working connector to the LCD. So what kind of background illumination do they have? Let's see that. Okay. Some oh, white foil that's normal so far. Then we have this thing here with one, two, three, four LEDs on each side. Okay, that's properly done. So that's about what's uh, always used in smaller or large displays. Even on your laptop you have a similar device. Maybe that one is a little bit simpler because it only has the dotted uh, light guide here and then some white foil on it. Not this fancy optical foils that LCD screens have. And then we have a display panel with a crack. 
Now that's just a scratch here on the back side. Yeah. Maybe I should take my soldering iron and move it across this connector here. Maybe I could fix it, but I'm not really sure if I want to fix it, but well, that's quite a simple construction. So I call this Chinese chunk, JJ. Okay, I think I will keep this nice wooden. Uh, by the way, that's not wood. Do you know what kind of wood this is? Well, it is not wood. It's bamboo. Yeah, that's bamboo. Here you can see it on the corners. That's the bamboo fibers here. That's one of these nodes that bamboo has every foot or something like that. That's not bamboo. That's just a cheap uh, wood particle. Uh, I don't know how it's called. But here you see bamboo, massive. And bamboo is it's quite in fashion at the moment because it's something that grows rapidly. There are uh, some species of bamboo that can grow one meter per day. So uh, yeah, it's, it makes sense and it is very hot, super hot. It looks nice and uh, yeah, there are even floor uh, tiles or floorboards that are made from bamboo. You can have your entire floor in your house made from bamboo uh, boards. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's have a look to the website of this company. By the way, oops, I noted it here. It's Moss case8.com and that looks as follows. Okay, so that's the web case of this company. You see they make something with clocks in all kind of colors. Uh, there are of, of course from China, so everything is in Chinese, that's okay. But for example, there are missing pictures here and here and here and here and here. Um, <clears throat> and they have Pingu, the little penguin. Uh, missing picture, missing picture. And uh, what's the links? Uh, where are... You can see the links in the corner, uh, in the lower left corner. It says PowerPoint. PowerPoint, 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 PowerPoint. Really? They are linking PowerPoint presentations into their website. And here, for example, PowerPoint. Wow. And PowerPoint. This one uh, has no link. There is a link. PowerPoint. I mean, Really, what web designer? No, uh, I, I wouldn't call this a web designer. What web page maker? Oh, here, LED doc, uh, Microsoft Word document. This one, Word document, Word document, and uh, BMP. Okay, I can do that. Uh, yes, the, that's some thermometer. You can set it from centigrade to Fahrenheit. That's nice. Uh, mm, uh, okay. So BMP, also the most used format for pictures in the internet. Uh, yeah, that link. PDF. Okay, PDF. PDF. We can see that. Uh, mm, three, two, two, two. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. At least it's a PDF. What's that? HTM. Oh no, they really have HTML files linked in here. And here we have PDF, PDF, PDF. Okay, that's all sorts of manuals. Uh, index. Okay, that goes back to the main uh, page. What's that? That's another. Oh, ooh. With moving characters. Mm. GPS, touch key. Mm. Phone numbers. QQ. Well, I know these numbers from ICQ. Maybe QQ is a, a Chinese version of ICQ. I don't know. Uh, sales email address, someone's email address, and the main website where we currently are. So, I think before I see something even worse, that's probably the worst website ever. Okay, thanks for watching.